What's up, everybody? We've got something a little bit special for you today. A review on our favorite scan tool from our friends over at Top Dawn. So they sent us this new scan tool for us to review for you guys. And there's some weird packaging that they got going on here. I don't know. Yeah, look at that. So I've never used this before, um, but Brandon has used it a lot. So we're gonna see how easy this is to use because I'm gonna try to use it today. I'm gonna get Fred set up and then he's going to walk through, looking through his uh, computers and playing with some of the stuff this thing can do. Um, but- Already too difficult. Yeah. So we're gonna plug it in. Where is it? Also, let's take a moment to acknowledge the best vehicle ever made, <laughs> the Honda Element. Well, the Honda Element is good. So the beeps are one, you plug it in. The second beep that you heard is actually it linking Bluetooth wise. So we go to the Top Guru app, which is for the Top Don, Top Scan, Top Guru, Top everything. Um, the next thing is up at the top, we have top diagnostics. G. Yeah. So we're going to go to uh, Diagnostics, and then I have a bunch of other stuff in here. Um, Honda is obviously what the element is. So we're going to go there, and then now I'm gonna pass it off to Fred and he's going to figure it out from here. Why did you have to do the first part? Huh? Why didn't I do the first part? Well, because you have to use my phone because you have to download the app and you don't have the app downloaded. Yeah, but you could just have me click on the app and All right, well, I had go to figure it. it out from the beginning. Cry me a And river. now I feel like oh. it's just cheating because and we're lying to our viewers. Because you haven't clicked the I'm app? I'm sorry, guys. We were trying to provide you with an honest review, but he ruined it from the beginning. So, um, okay. <laughs> automatic selection, system selection. Let's just do automatic. Is the key on? Enter VIN, read, reading VIN code. Uh-oh, there it is. Read. Oh, confirm. There, there you go, go. Okay. there you go. Select destination. I mean, I'm in the USA, so I don't think I'm going anywhere. But it's the destination of the vehicle. All right, here we go. It says loading system data. Here under system menu, we can see we got all the different um, vehicle aspects that are computers all listed in here, there. all the different, yeah, computers, EBS, SRS, gauges, TPMS. Did you click hot functions or did you click diagnostic? Diagnostic. Okay. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, most of the time, what is this retail for? Uh, it's like 60 or 70 bucks. That's pretty <clears> good, you know? Cause normally when you buy like a $60 scanner, you're just gonna get codes. And that's it. Like check engine light and codes. And maybe a code or something that tells you roughly what the code number means. Yeah, but you're not gonna get access to all of these things. So already it's looking pretty decent besides the interface being a little bit. Um, so I will say don't click it, because I know you will, but don't, the auto scan oh. will literally check every one of those things. I do um, know there's a TPMS trouble code, so how about we click on that? All right. Read codes. Mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty straightforward. Sometimes it is. Tire pressure sensor signal fail. Twice. So you have two sensors. Oh, tire, tire two, tire, two, tire four. four. Go back. What if I clear it? You can clear it. Um, so there's clear, and then what's the data stream show? What? Uh, well, that's pretty. Oh look, it's a, it's got the number for the tire pro, uh, tire sensors actually. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Hot functions. So here we've got um, a bunch of things that I guess the scanner can do, like in terms of bi-directional control, which is cool, again, for 60 bucks. That's a pretty good value. You guys should go look at Top Dog, dude. And obviously it doesn't, um, it, it, like these options aren't always specific for your car because um, this doesn't have a hybrid vehicle battery. So um, Go back to the diagnostic. Okay. So do the computer. Yep. Active tests. Active tests. What's inspection? Inspection. 
So you can do, so you can, you can turn on the... Air, like air fuel? Might be. Huh. Cylinder and then, cranking speed. Well, here's the thing, right? So radiator fan. Hey, stop. Don't turn my radiator fan on. Look, do you it. can do it, okay? It, it's in there. They need to, see, they need to hear it. No. You can also turn on it the... It works. We've done it before. It works. I know he's done it on a, a car before. AC clutch. You can turn the fuel pump on. See, this is more bi-directional control, which again, for $60... Yeah, we have a scan tool that's like somewhere in the $300 range, and it doesn't do anything like this. No. Um, it'll read codes. It'll clear codes, and that's about it. Um, it does give you live data, which um, that's what... Data stream. Yep. Yeah. Oh, click on that and just show them Turn how on, much show stuff. Them, dude. Well, you can still see. Oh, wow. It, it has the active stuff there. And then there's there's a lot of stuff Thermetric that you can look on this, pressure, which is... The math, intake yeah. air temp, throttle percentage, a bunch of things I don't know, air fuel ratio. Wow. Wow, look at it. It's still going, dude. Yeah. I will say, $60 though, for $60, this thing does a lot of functions that a lot of the big snap-on tools do that are thousands of dollars. But the first thing that sucks, and I know this sucks because I've had to deal with the problem, even though he's the one using it, is he leaves this thing in every car that he uses it it's on. It's tiny, because, yeah. look, can you see it? Hold on, you keep going. Is it? It's still. It's in there, right? Well, and that's also like. This is it. Yeah. You might notice it in my car because you probably would accidentally kick it when you're going to like use the gas pedal. But on most cars, it's like over here or something. Um, and yeah, he's left this in like a million customer cars, and then we embarrassingly have to call them, and they have to come back here and give us our scan tool back. <laughs> um, and I'm just waiting for the person that just takes it home, and they just don't want to bring it back because they're like. This I can keep $60 this, yeah. scan tool does it all. I can do everything that the mechanics I was paying to do can do, so why would I go back and yeah. give them this invaluable tool? Essentially, Promo this, code below, make sure you guys go and purchase one, um, I, and we get money from that too. We so, do. We do. Yeah. Um, but if it had a little thing for a lanyard on it, it would be perfect, because yeah. then there'd be a giant lanyard hanging off of it, and you'd be able to remember the tool. Um, or paint it fluorescent orange. Fluorescent orange. No, or, I, um, it needs both. Put some feathers on it, something that'll let you know where that thing is because you might forget it somewhere. Yeah. Um, another thing that I'm not a fan of this is um, we have yet for it to work on a Porsche. It does have the stuff in there for it, but it doesn't work on a Porsche. Um, Porsche. It doesn't, it doesn't recognize Miata ECUs from every Miata I've tried. Um, so, granted, it does do a lot of stuff, but there is a few things that, um, I, I don't know if it's something for their updates or whatever's going on with it, or maybe I'm messing something up, but I haven't gotten it to work on some things. Um, and I know, as we saw with the other thing too, with some of the options that it has there, a little bit more of an explanation so that you don't have to be, um, some, or you don't need some college degree or um, some kind of engineering degree to understand what's going on with it. Um, or to have passed high school, is what he's trying to say. Yeah, that's hard. Um, and he's also trying to say, you know, it doesn't work with the Porsches and the Miatas and stuff, right? So if you're a normal person and you like good cars, then you'll have no problems with this scan tool. I'm sure it works on BMWs, because they have check engine lights all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just list these off so you know you can throw them in there, and you can really reinforce how good of a value this is to our um, viewers online. I-M readiness monitoring status, components tests, read fault codes, read live data, read freeze frame data, clear fault codes, O2 sensor monitor, onboard monitor, and read vehicle information. Could you have sounded more like a phone menu? <laughs> Choose one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have a new 2023 version? Is that what we have? I, we got it this year, like a couple months ago, so I'm guessing. Did we even mention the fact that this is wireless, by the way? Well, Bluetooth, yeah, turn Bluetooth on. All right, so anyways, 
If you're in the market for one of these, you can't really beat it for the price.